In this video, we're going to show how to remove the main timing belt. There are two timing belts in this engine. The main timing belts link the crankshaft, intake camshaft, power steering, and alternator. The secondary timing belt links the intake camshaft and exhaust camshaft together. If you need to remove both the timing belts, you will have to remove the upper engine mount first. It is shown uh, at the lower part of this picture. If you want to remove the camshaft carrier only, you do not need to remove the engine mount, nor the secondary timing belt. So in this video, we have the engine mount untouched, and we only want to remove the main timing belt. Firstly, uh, make sure the number one cylinder is at the TDC timing position. The camshaft can be locked by two 8mm bolts through the holes in the camshaft sprocket to the camshaft carrier. Also make sure the crankshaft is also at the TDC position. The main timing belt tensioner is just above the crankshaft sprocket, a little bit to the left of the arrow indicated. The tensioner was held by the shiny hex bolt. The hex hole close to the hex bolt is for rotating the tensioner after the bolt was slackened. Now you can use a ring spanner to slacken the hex bolt and then use an Allen key to rotate the tensioner to the position shown in the next photo. When the timing belt tensioner at this position, the main timing belt has the least tension. You can now remove the main timing belt. This picture shows the main timing belts had been removed. It is now ready for removing the camshaft carrier. Thank you for watching.